welcome back to my channel. My name is Jimena. If you are new, welcome. In today's video, I will be transforming a dining room area. So if you'd like to see how I transformed this, keep watching. So oh, this is the dining space that I will be tackling in today's video. It's a dining room area and after these pictures were taken, they actually painted all walls white and they also changed the flooring of the entire home to a nice rich brown um, color, which you're going to see later on. I came into the picture and I was able to help them with all their finishings, all their accessories and other pieces of furniture. So. The first thing we did was figure out what items they absolutely wanted to keep in the space and it was this china cabinet that you're going to see, which is okay. And tip that I have, if you have outdated furniture and you absolutely want to keep it in the space, suggest painting it and it will instantly transform your piece and make it more stylish and modern. So here we're just doing the second coat. Oh my God, you guys, it looked so good. It had such great coverage. We chose this really pretty brown black color and you could never tell that it was beige before. It was just perfection. So here is the china cabinet already painted. Wow! Doesn't it look like a completely different piece of furniture? Oh, obsessed. We wanted to spray paint the knobs, but we weren't able to take them out, so we decided to paint everything the same color and absolutely love, love, love this. We also added this really beautiful rug to the dining space and we wanted a light color since the flooring is already dark. Now we're going to be changing these chairs to something more modern. So this is my favorite part of all projects and it's the styling part. So this is when we go to places like Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Target, Marshalls, and we just buy a ton of accessories and we pretty much style the room to make it look complete because you can have all the furniture pieces in your space. If you don't accessorize the room, it will not look complete. So these are a few items that we're going to be using to finish up this dining room area. So you're going to see me here putting two table runners because I could not decide in the store. I liked both the beige one and the blue one. There's also a debate. Are these chairs blue, gray, or are they gray, gray? Because I see them like a blue, gray, and my cousin sees them like a gray, gray. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think the color of the chairs are. So after putting them um, both runners on the table, we decided to go with the beige. It just looked better, and this is how it turned out. So if you guys are following me on Instagram, you remember that I posted this painting technique of baking powder and paint to make it look like a ceramic. And it was for this vase right here that we're using for this dining room area. And we have two sticks. We weren't sure which ones to use, the darker ones or the lighter ones. Of course, you guys over on Instagram were able to help me. And we chose the lighter one, of course. So do you guys remember when I found this at the thrift store for like $15? Got a new basket for it to give it the right height. It looks perfect in the space and it was super affordable. How good does this look here? Oh, it's just so good. Another tip I have is remember I always advise to do the curtains as high as you can, which is what we did in this area. However, we had to use some curtain tape to fix that in the bottom and I'm going to actually pass this over onto Kiara and she's going to show you guys how to do the curtain tape. So what we're going to do is with this quick, you've probably seen it around, they sell it on Amazon, anywhere. It's probably maybe $7 or so, so it's super cheap. We're going to fix it. It's a basic double tape, and I'm just going to show you here. Same. 
and we are going to um, put it on where we want the curtain to fold and obviously fold it and then we're gonna get the height that we want so here's what we do we're gonna, going to make the fold right here so you guys can have an idea almost almost touching the floor and you're going to just tape it all the way so now we're going to um, peel it off now I do recommend don't peel it off all the way go little by little and then you just really put it together with the other side and this is how it turned out you would never tell that we had to do the fold it looks perfect in the space so highly recommend getting some curtain tape if you were having this issue okay so we finally found some greenery that we like for these vases however the yellow is throwing off the color scheme that we have so we're just gonna cut them off use these pieces for another project okay guys so now we're going to style this buffet and um what we did for this little section was we actually went to the garage to see what items they already had so we didn't have to purchase so many items and we found one little guy who is <laughs> how cute is this yellow we are gonna put him in the middle we have some books and some plants that we're gonna be using so... This is another item that we actually found in their garage. It was fill them up and they look super nice here. Also have this lamp that we're gonna be using. Since this is our little Yama station, we're gonna include this little guy. And just like that, this dining room is complete. I'm going to show you now the before.